Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. Okay, so this is going to be like part three of the iron fly. Okay, so this is going to be like very short video. Sorry, I should have covered this video as part in the part two because this is going to be like very, very, very important video, right? This will be like required for all your adjustment videos. Okay, you know, right? We have a playlist. This is your iron fly part one and this is the iron fly part two wherein we have discussed about how to calculate the maximum <clears throat> loss break even everything so today we are going to discuss on <clears throat> how to reduce the max loss on upper side and on the lower side this is very important you'll come to know why <clears throat> we are discussing about reducing the loss because whenever we go for the adjustments we need to know right when exactly we have the maximum loss and how to reduce the loss okay i should have covered in this video but uh, I mean, sorry, I could not cover in this video, but later I've realized. So I'm just making a very short video and very important video as part of the iron fly. Okay. If you look at my PPT, this is part three, <clears throat> right? How to reduce the max loss. Okay. Let me take you to uh, sensible. Okay. So I've deployed a iron fly, right? You know, right? Two sold positions and two bought position. This is my iron fly. I think I'll be not discussing about the basics because I'm expecting that. I'm assuming that you are following the entire series what I've made on iron fly. Okay. So now look at this maximum loss. It says 7,000 and the maximum profit is 7,899. Right. We have already discussed, right? <clears throat> Your maximum loss is the spread, the call side spread minus the net receipt. So friends, watch this video. <clears throat> try to make notes and try to play around with the uh, obstra, right? You need to know what is your maximum loss on the upper side and what is the maximum loss on the lower side right today we will be discussing about how to reduce your maximum loss right this is very important video okay let me take you back to sensible so this is my sole position 34 700 and 34 7000 so this is the straddle and then we have the buy edges right if you look at this loss 7100 so we have the risk to reward of almost like 1 is to 1.5 okay but we are focusing on this loss why do we have loss Right? Why do we have solace and how to mitigate the loss, right? reduce the loss. <clears throat> so now what I'll do, you know, right, the more gap you have between your sole leg and your bot leg, the more spread you have, you will have the more loss. Okay. I'll, I'll show you, right. I'll try to create, right. I'll try to create more gap. See the loss. Loss has increased to 9,438. The moment I created more spread between your buy and the sole leg. I'll get back to the original position. You know, right? Whenever we go for C and even one more point I've missed out in uh, uh, session one is like, see, whenever you get, whenever you sell a straddle, right? Check the uh, premium. You received 470 and 540. This is almost like 1100, right? Right? You, you received a premium of 1100 and the logic for you to buy the edges would be like you can go for 1100 or you can go for thousand or you can go for 1200 also it doesn't make any sense but but definitely you know right the more gap the more spread you have you will you will be having more loss right it all depends on your risk appetite right you can go for <clears throat> uh, exactly 1100 or you can go for thousand or you can go for 1200 right but here see i've taken 34700 right i got almost like uh, 1100 but i've taken it break even of 33700 by by uh, having the 1000 uh, difference and on the call side 34700 and plus 1000 is equal to 35700 okay so this i have missed in part 1 but now okay how to decrease this loss let me reduce the spread between your sold and buy leg by 100 points and keep a note on this loss okay 100 points right check your loss here right let me get get it back to uh, original right your loss now is 7100 all right <clears throat> the moment i am decreasing the spread between your sole leg and your buy leg by just 100 points check your break even uh, check your payoff now your loss on the p side is 5000 only from 7000 right but here it will increase right this will show the max loss right i'll just decrease the spread by 100 more points check the loss now your loss has come down to 3000 right obviously this will increase because whenever you're decreasing the loss on one side obviously the other side will increase but this is not the concept we are reading we are right this video is all about 
how we can reduce the loss <coughs> all right so now in line to that what i'll do is like i'll decrease the spread by 100 points on the call side check the loss from 8000 it came to 6000 right now we are at the 6000 again 100 points i'm decreasing the spread right from 6000 we got to 4256 <coughs> friends i think you know right you have to just observe the expiry date loss in the black color box right again i'll try to decrease the spread by 200 more points 100 plus 100 right check your loss it has come down to 900 on the put side i'll again try to decrease by 200 points your loss stands at 5900 i'm just trying to decrease the spread reduce the spread by 200 points check your loss your loss is only 2488 check your loss right though your profit will reduce but in line to the profit your loss will also reduce all right so now i think you got a clear picture right if you want to have good risk to reward you can just reduce the gap between your sold position and the bought position the lesser the gap the lesser the loss the more the gap the more the loss right again i'll show you i'll get it 100 more points right your loss is 1211 one more 100 you you came to profit so even you can deploy right if you have view based trading right if you think that market will <clears throat> market is sideways or bearish right you can go for this thing right your loss stands at 4500 and the call side I'll, I'll just try to get it to 200 points i'll try to reduce the gap right check the loss it has come to 1363 right i'm just giving you more detail friends 200 points <clears throat> on the put side and 200 points on the call side check your loss 630 so we started with 7000 loss now check your loss it, it has come down to 630 reason being the more the spread between your sell and the board the more loss you will have right unlike uh, in line to the same thing the more the spread on the call side so why i am explaining you about all this <coughs> uh, how to reduce is like whenever we go for any adjustments right so we have to reduce our loss so initially we can go for perfect iron fly with 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 1.5 let it be 7000 or 8000 let the profit be 20000 so initially we can go for 7000 loss versus 20000 profit but gradually based on the market movement right whenever we go for adjustments we have to mitigate the loss see the only way we can mitigate the loss is reducing the spread on the top on the uh, the bottom side reducing the spread on the c side right you got the context right so this is what very important i i think uh, whenever we go for the adjustment video which i'm planning to come with either the broken wing fly or i'll come up with the reverse buying so needless to say any strategy go right any adjustments any shifting right we do the adjustments in terms of mitigating the loss we do the ad we do the ad shifting in terms of uh, locking the profit all right so we need to know how to reduce the loss because whenever we go into panic situation our first ultimate goal should be to mitigate the loss so for that reason i'm making this video and you'll get to know why uh, i made a video right before uh, getting into any adjustment video right so this you'll get to know all right friends so we started with 7000 but now we reduced to 630 just because we have started reducing the spread reducing the spread between the sold and the bought leg all right you know right again i'll make you like right uh so this will become all together right 37 600 and here i'll make it to 34 800 check from 600 like 481 and <clears throat> your profit is 2000 this is this even this stands good if you're like comfortable right market will be range based right if it if it's uh expires between like 0.21 percent on the top bottom 0.2 percent still you will get one is to three still you will get one is to three on a capital deployed of 36,000. but this is not the uh <clears throat> topic we are discussing the reason of discussing this point is like the the less the spread right the lower the losses will be all right friends so friends thank you so maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i'm just coming up with the first adjustment video but i'll ensure that i'll try to make all the adjustment video on the iron fly within a weeks of time so you know right i'm a working professional so i'm not i do not get much time right i've started the calendar spreads i think i've started the series on the calendar spreads because there was request from few uh, listeners and even have started the uh, series on the swing trading so because we need calendar spreads maybe 
two months, three months down the line, we need to go for the calendar splits because uh, already VIX is very high. So we can expect the VIX to fall down and even have started in parallel this swing trading for the equity and cash market. All right. So friends, watch the part one. Again, I'm telling you, watch part one, part two, right? These are all the prerequisite videos, so meaning, see, I'll tell you, these are all the prerequisite video, right? A prerequisite is like, one second, right? Right. Strategies based on the India VIX must watch. This is a prerequisite. And there is also one more prerequisite video. Rising VIX is friend of option buyer. Rising VIX is enemy of <coughs> option seller. Because all the strategies, your VIX as a correlation. If you know the VIX, right? If you if you know the crux of the VIX, I think you will become a successful trader. Right. So you have to watch these two prerequisite videos. All right, friends. So I'll just conclude the session. So keep uh, watching for my videos, so stay tuned for my uh, adjustment videos, which I'll be like coming up maybe tomorrow, day after tomorrow. But this weekend, I'll try to cover like three to four adjustment videos. Like, thank you, friend. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends. Right, you'll find <coughs> uh, the subscription uh, on on my screen now. Right, so please try to subscribe now. It takes only two to three seconds for you to subscribe. Right, if you're a new uh, customer. Right. If you have already subscribed my channel, please share with your friends, right, with your family members. Thank you.